What's going on, folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I am back from Toy Fair. I only really went for the one day. It lasts a couple of days, but I actually did have some good interactions with some folks that fit into the TTRPG space. I'll make a separate video on Toy Fair because some of you were curious just what the experience in general was like. And I did a live stream, but I basically was just kind of walking around and chatting. So I'll give you kind of the rundown. And ultimately, what I think it comes to me is that Toy Fair is not really the ideal convention for me as somebody who covers TTRPG stuff. While there was some stuff, WizKids being one of the big ones, I did a lot of social media posts. Another one that was there was Ultra Pro. And we talked about Ultra Pro stuff in the past, and they have a lot of cool and interesting products coming out, currently released, or even stuff that's releasing into, say, January of next year, including a Dungeon Master screen, uh, which will be releasing in Q1. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is some product they actually just gave to me, which was some Critical Role products. So we have a Critical Role dice tower here, an Alco flip, so this is like a deck box, and a sort of, I'll try to do up close cams on these as well. A uh, foldable, this is a foldable dice rolling tray. It is sort of purple here and it has, I think this is more like Mighty Nine related stuff. Like all of the little symbols here. I see like a hammer, a pair of scissors. Maybe it's not Mighty Nine. Either way, critical role related stuff. I see a wolf. It's all a really cool design, and yeah, I guess these are all available currently, and they have some other Critical Role products that they had on the site as well. So I thought we would just kind of open these up, take a look at what we got, and, you know, just comment on, on you know, I mean, Ultra Pro makes quality stuff. They've been for one of the longest times, uh, really, f for a long time, if you had, like, sleeves that you put in a binder to store your trading cards of some kind. They were pretty much almost all produced by Ultra Pro for a while. Uh, and then the same thing with like sleeves, like for your actual individual cards for a long time. Obviously the market has significantly grown to include a variety of different companies. But first up we have this Alcove flip box, which has Vox Machina on it. I'll show you an up close here in a second, but it is magnetic. As you can see. So this just kind of flips open. We have the critical roll. Does this? Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. This comes off. So this kind of just up on and around. It's got the critical roll logo on the top. You can see critical roll and ultra pro here on the bottom. And then, yeah, it just has the entirety of Vox Machina, including Trinket here on the front. And then we can just go ahead and open it up all the way. And that's pretty much it. It's got, you know, you obviously would put your cards. Do I have any cards in arm's reach? I have some Pokemon cards. You know, you just throw your cards inside and they have this sort of little alcove here where it's easy to pull them out. I mean, this looks like it would hold a pretty decent amount of cards in here, as well as especially sleeved cards. I don't believe it says there's no real information. Oh, here we go. Dual thumb notches for easy card access. That's these right here. Multiple magnets for extra protection. It holds 100 double-sleeved cards in Ultra Pro Pro Fit and Deck Protector sleeves. And then it's got, like, little Critical Role logos on the inside. And, you know, I didn't really think about it, but if you only had this one magnetic clasp, the chance of this possibly opening up in your bag and then coming loose and losing all your cards... The most it'll open probably is this much because there's the extra set of magnets here for support. This is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and I'll put this on like what I usually use for miniatures and we'll get sort of an up close on this one as well. So let's go ahead and get this in focus so you can see. It's got the Vox Mach in the logo, as you can see here on the top. And then you have the entirety a Vox Machina here. You can see in the back there, we've got Percy and Scanlan right there on the top. And then kind of in the middle, you can see Grog, Vex, Vax, Keyleth, Trinket. And then in the front with the fire wings, there is Pike. So that is a very cool little deck box. If you're looking to, you know, have a represent critical role in your uh, whatever card game it is that you play. There you go. And in a similar fashion is this Critical Roll Dice Tower. So it says dice rolling and storage. We'll talk about that. Holds 40 plus 
standard RPG dice and has a strong magnetic closure. Go ahead and open this. Um, okay. So here it is. Um, as you can see, it's got this sort of the symbol based. You can see a variety of the symbols, critical role logo. I see a moon, a cog, a wolf. Looks like maybe roses. I'm not really sure which group is this supposed to be Hell's Bells. I'm not really sure which group this is supposed to represent. Uh, but, uh, or Bells, Hells, I guess. But this opens here, right? Top. You can see here's the dice tower. This folds down like this. And there's a little silicone thing we can pull out of there. And then this is your dice tower. So you can see you've got sort of your baffles in there. And your dice would just kind of roll out the bottom here. Right? And now it says it does have storage. Now there is no sort of, this is the entirety of it. What I believe it's suggesting is that you would put your dice inside the tower in here, and then they would stay solid inside. And then when you would open it, they would kind of roll out into the tray itself. Um, it's nice and compact. It's not much bigger than the deck box. Uh, and obviously it is a nice compact little rolling tray. It's got two, it looks to be the kind of main aspect here. This is a hard plastic. It's got, was it two sets of baffles? So you can get the click clack sound there. And it, then it's just wrapped in this sort of vinyl material. I really like that as well. Just, I don't know. It's got the two magnets and everything just sort of very, this magnetics closed as well here. And then the lid as well. Critical Role logo on the top, and again, Critical Role and Ultra Pro on the bottom. So I'm guessing, yeah, the because there's no real other way. So you could open this up and just put your dice in here. And then, like I said, when you would open it up, they would all just sort of tumble out. And there's no other way. You can't store the dice here in the tray bed, because uh, if they're up towards the top and you could close it, it wouldn't work. So let's, you know what, let's try that. Let's put some dice. I have a handful of dice here. Oh, dropped one. We'll go ahead and put them. Now these aren't standard dice. These are a set of gemstone dice that I have. Let me just grab that D12. You know what? I also have some other dice over here. I have some like random dice. We'll put all those in there. So if we were to put all of our dice, say, in this dice tray, now this obviously it says it can handle 40. If you were to try to close this, it's not going to work because the dice are stuck up there. So that they won't shut like that. Some of them will make their way inside. But I think what we're going to have to do is dump them all out. And we can go ahead and shut the lid. And we'll just pour our dice right here in the top. Again, we have some. This is an oversized B20. The gemstone dice. I normally wouldn't recommend doing this with your gemstone dice. But... I got one drop on the floor here. So you saw that dice. They're all inside here. Close the lid. You can hear them. They're obviously not going to be safe from moving around. So if you have dice that can be damaged by being jostled, I probably wouldn't put them in here. But, you know, if you throw this in a bag and it's pretty stable, sorry, my table's shaking a lot, and it's pretty stable in the bag, then this might be okay, right? So this would be safe. And then when you want to open it, you're going to go ahead and take the lid. And then, as I said, all your dice are just going to kind of fall out there. So again, like I said, probably not the ideal place to store your super high-end, pristine, like, premium dice but if you have just a bunch of plastic dice and you want to have a little mobile dice tower as well as you know a means to carry dice and like i said it is claiming it will handle 40 plus standard rpg dice like i said this is an like this is your standard d20 this is an oversized d20 but we were able to fit all of the dice that i had on hand inside this with no problems so I'll go ahead and pull all the dice out of here and we'll see. I don't think I really have much to show you in the up close cam that you couldn't make out from what I had shown you there, but we'll go ahead and do that anyway, just so you can get an idea.
Let's zoom it back out so you can get a good look at the patterning. Here it is. So again, it's got this sort of like, I don't know, like a deeper purple coloration on it. And again, here's a good look at the various symbols on the, uh, I think this is Campaign 3 stuff, I believe, but either way. And then again, if you were to zoom out, you can see you would just take your die, drop it in the top, and then it would roll out there at the bottom. So there you have that. And the last thing, again, it's going to use the same um, design as the dice tower as far as symbols and things, was a foldable dice tray right here. So do we have an easy means of opening this? Yes, we do. So as you can see, it has those same logos here and it has sort of like a uh, like a vinyl, soft vinyl back here in this like deeper purple color. And what you're gonna do is just fold up the sides and then there are magnets in the corners that will hold them together. And now you have a dice tray that you can go ahead and roll all your dice in, no problem, right? Nice and easy. And then obviously you could store your dice in whatever dice sort of carrying medium you would like. And then you just very simply can fold it up. Like I said, very easy. You almost do this with one hand to make your dice tray. And then when you want to carry it or transport it, you just kind of flip it out. And now it's flat pack, nice and thin to fit. You could stick this like in a folder uh, next in between a set of books or something nice and easy for carry purposes. Now I'm going to look up just shortly here and be on the lookout because actually Ultra Pro did give me an extra one of the foldable dice tray. So I don't need two. So we're going to go ahead and give that one away. So be on the lookout for a giveaway coming uh, here on the channel shortly. But I'm actually going to go down and visit Ultra Pro at um, Toy Fair again. So I may have some more uh, articles and things to give away in the near future. But Let's go ahead and see if we go ahead and pull up Critical Role or Dungeons and Dragons here on the Ultra Pro website, what kind of stuff we can see uh, as far as pricing and availability. So we're going to go ahead and head to ultrapro.com and type in Critical Role. See what we're able to pull up here. Okay. Looks like we do have some play mats here. I'm sorry, everything's taking a while to load. We have some play mats. We have character folios, which I've covered these in the past. Here it is. It is Bell's Hells. I was correct. The dice tower itself is $50. It does appear to be available now. I also was able to see I have some pictures of this Bell's Hells team lineup leatherette book folio. This is really, really nice. I have some pictures of this. I'll put them up on social media. And obviously we have ones that are tied to specific characters from Bell's Hells. Here is the uh, the Leatherette Folding Dice Tray is $25. Again, looks to be available now. And then the Vox Machina Alcove Box here is $31. Uh, it does actually have five five-star reviews at the moment. Um, and then again, they do have some sleeves as well. So there's a lot of really cool D&D-related stuff coming out from Ultra Pro. I really like this, this kind of leather at uh, book folio that they have here. We'll go ahead and click on this. This is $50. It looks like this is also available now as there is one five star rating for it uh it says you know includes 10 single pocket folders for character sheets six nine pocket pages for spell cards you store maps and notes in the front pocket um and you can see i think it even has spot like for a notebook a notepad to go right here in the front so you can keep your notes together in there as well they have a nice little critical role um zipper on there as well and it's obviously got the entirety of bell's hells on the front uh, kind of wrapping the entire thing. It is very pretty. So yeah, I just wanted to just a shout out to Molly and the team over at uh, at Ultra Pro for sending some of these things home with me just to take a look at and do a review of. I think they're awesome products. They're really high quality for what you know. You know, there's a lot of companies out there that make these kinds of things. These are from a company that's time you know time tested. Ultra Pro's been around for forever covering a variety of things. I haven't really seen an aspect like this with this sort of smaller kind of square dice tower. This thing is also pretty solid. Like, I don't think you're going to have to worry about this thing breaking. 
Uh, it's just really solidly constructed. You could even combo these two together if you really wanted to. Uh, yeah, and I really like it. They're book folios, uh, and they even have book uh, sleeves to cover up your, you know, your base D and D books as well to protect them and add extra uh, bookmarks. So more on those hopefully in the near future. But yeah, I'll put links in the video description to all of these things over on Ultra Pro's website. But yeah, the Critical Role stuff. Uh, I hope there's. I'm, it sounds like there might even be more cool Critical Role stuff coming in the near future. So be on the lookout for more reviews and things coming soon. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.